if you're in the South Los Angeles area, if you're um, in San Diego County, across Southern California, I will be very careful with, um, I, I lived in Southern California for a little bit. I lived in West Los Angeles. Um, West Los Angeles and Northwest Los Angeles County also. Um, but when you go to South LA, it's just like, even I had my um, school logo on the back of my car, even just driving around LA as a black graduate student and they knew I was a graduate student. Still, like the way the cops stared at you, is anger in the air. And it's not just the cops, it's some of the attitude of even black people when you walk into the stores, depressed, it's a food desert. You just get the sense that if a black person don't set you up, one of the Hispanic cops will. It's just a bad, eerie feeling when I used to uh, visit South Los Angeles. It just didn't feel right, which is why I didn't go over there um, too often. Um, lately, it's not just black women that are being caught up in the cartel um, and being sold for sex um, across the L.A., San Diego, San Diego County, and Tijuana, Northern Mexico area. Um, this is the third woman in one month that I've heard. One was Hispanic, and now this is the second. One was a brown Hispanic, and this is the second black woman, though her last name is like Flores or something like that, as you're about to see. So this is a black American woman, and she probably, you know, made a child with a brown Hispanic guy or a light or a light skinned black Hispanic guy and gave birth to a light skinned or biracial um black Hispanic young woman. And so this light skinned or biracial black Hispanic young woman, she apparently met a probably brown Latino guy in Southern California and was in a relationship with him. They went on a trip somehow, and, and she thought she trusted him. Somehow, after they arrive on the trip, she ends up getting sex traffic. Yeah, although we say divest, and I'll play the video in just a second, although we say divest, yeah, you get a relationship with God first. Get to know yourself. Let him talk to you and give you that inner to intuition about who to avoid um, and do your market research of the area you know don't completely divest from black people to the point where you got the elders telling you don't go to this area and don't go to that area and you don't talk to black elders you don't talk to anybody still maintain a good relationship with the black community for information purposes because I mean we're like the most sociable people on the planet. Wherever we go in the world, we observe, even if we sit quietly and observe, and we report it back to each other. You can have a black person in Istanbul, in in Tokyo, um, you know, in Atlanta, Georgia, in Valdosta, Georgia. Oh, these are how these people are here. And that could, they could be the quietest person in the room. If they're the only black person or it's just a few of them, they could be the quietest person in the room. Then they getting on the internet when they get home or telling their friends in the neighborhood. Y'all know such and such, they racist. Don't go there. I visited this country, that country, this place in America, at this business. We are very talkative. Which is sometimes a good thing because they'll people give you the lowdown on cultures to avoid, in what places, and why. You know, so it's like this could easily be uh, avoided. Um, one young lady, I'll see if later on today I can post it down below. 
her black mom is crying on the internet. Um, another black mom. Because she was in transition housing in L.A. Um, in South L.A. again. And somehow she's abducted from this transition housing. And the cartel let her know that they have her in Mexico. They're probably trafficking her in Mexico. Like I said, within the last month, one brown young lady and two black young women I've heard news stories about them being trafficked in Mexico. So let's watch this and pay close attention to what she says in the end. Remember, do your market research. My daughter is missing, okay? My 21-year-old daughter is missing. She is in Tijuana, Mexico. Some the fuck where? It's so many moving parts to this fucking situation. All I really need is for y'all to point me in the right direction on who I'm supposed to contact. Because nobody's answering the phone. I called the FBI in Las Vegas, Nevada. They're not answering. I called the police to make a police report and report her missing. They put me on hold and then the line gets disconnected when they're transferring me. So I feel like at this point, whoever these people that are holding my daughter for ransom and using her as a slave, allegedly, for 500 bucks USD, which we all know that pesos ain't shit, okay? Can y'all please direct me to the people that can help me get my motherfucking daughter back? Please and thank you. This is why you do not go to other fucking countries when you don't know what the fuck they doing over there. Also, I have the picture and the name of the man that was with her last. He did his due diligence and reported her as missing. I'm so fucking agitated, dog. Like, I can't handle this shit. I literally am on my way to work. In the car. On the way to work. Dealing with this shit. But when it comes to my motherfucking kids, baby, I don't give a shit how old they are. If we if we doing this, we doing it. We doing it. Because you already have her. So if you're going to do something, you're going to do it. So somebody send me to the right people on how to contact the right people and get my motherfucking baby back because I'll be goddamn if I sit here and be quiet and just cry in peace. Y'all got me fucked up. Mm. Always saying, don't develop the black man's passport borough um, colorist strategy to dating interracially. I noticed some black women taking that route, you're doing nothing but copying, copying the dusty logic of your brothers, um, but switching the genders. And you need to divest from a more spiritual basis. Um, it's obvious that you know our community is going the way it is and that we need to divest. But you don't need to be desperate about it. You need to do your research and due diligence. And yeah, because who in their right mind would want to put themselves in danger? I am my most precious, my, I am my own most precious asset. So keeping in mind with the theme, this young lady here says, and, and I've seen this before. Um, with black on social media, black men who dating out, um, admitting that they want to date a white woman as a get back against white men who treating them bad or as some type of sexual reparations. Like if you're not going to pay me. Uh, monetarily I'm going to get with your woman or well no I'm going to get with your daughter well that's what I saw on Twitter for, from a few accounts I'm going to get with your daughter and that's my reparations like do not no remember the video I did and I'll attach that below definitely Dr. Umar's analysis of the movie You People response and the abolitionist when they spoke of interracial marriage 
they said, of course, we're not talking about the slave owning class now, but getting into legitimate relationships with black women after they spent generations raping them. No, we're talking about white people because not all white people own slaves. No. He said, no, we're not talking about the slave owning class. We're talking about the white men who never owned slaves, were never into that sort of thing. We're talking about them getting with black women if they are attracted to black women. That's what the abolitionists said themselves, some of the abolitionists. So you have to remember that the origin of the divest movement was never to get with the racist white men who endorsed racism and, you know, and to start dealing with him. It was to get with the men who were already sympathetic toward the cause. So when this young lady sends this here on the screen, she's completely out of step with what it's all about. Because, um, again, you would never put your own self in harm's way. I want to hate fuck a white man. Have him beg for my people's forgiveness while my ass suffocates him. I want him to suck my titty while I remind him slaves used to feed his ancestors the same way. I want him on his knees eating my uh, pussy while he tells me God is a black woman. Again, you would not be divesting to a racist white man that would sympathize with the slave owners of the past. And divesting even at its origin was about never dealing with those type of white men or white people. So, again, yeah, do not develop the dusty logic of your brothers. Leave that ghetto mentality in the black community. Take a more spiritual, um, self-help book, holistic, holistic, approach so yeah leave the dusty behind logic with the dusties because don't put your own self in harm's way playing games you have to be humble you have to be humble um even if you don't want to be humble because if you're not humble you're gonna put yourself in real dangerous situations